Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I'm gonna share with you some little tips to improve the image quality of your photos and videos, avoiding the problem of uh, moray and aliasing. Stay tuned! These problems are caused by a digital sensor that they don't have an optical low pass filter or an anti aliasing filter. For example, my Panasonic Lumix S1 doesn't have this filter, but I never really had any problem with Moire or aliasing. And I'm gonna explain you why and how to avoid these problems. The first tip I can give you to avoid Moire and aliasing is to use a diffusion filter. So this filter with all these little particles inside the glass is absorbing some light informations that they're not gonna hit the sensor. So your camera is gonna capture less details, images or videos. And huge percentage of filmmakers already knows these filters and they're vastly using them. Uh, if you're a photographer, I recommend you to buy at least one of these filters, probably with the lowest intensity of diffusion, like the Black Promist with a 1.8 intensity. That is a just subtle look, but it's gonna help to improve the highlights roll off and reducing the overall contrast of the image. So it's gonna help you to capture more dynamic range and have more cinematic looking images. If you don't know what's a diffusion filter, I will show you some examples of different intensity of diffusion filters that they can have a different impact in your looking images. So to show you properly how the diffusion filter works, I have to put a light uh, in front of you. So I apologize for the pink color that's gonna be in your face but that's the best way to see how a diffusion filter works. It's a little bit strong here, I apologize. I'm a beginner or beginner. Tomato or tomato? Okay, this is blooming as well. A lot of bloom here. Uh, smoothness in my skin. No moire. It's good enough. Diffusion. With a UV filter of, uh, I don't know, 15 euros, 15 dollars, 20 Canadian dollars, 20 Australian dollars. Another tip I can give you is to use old vintage lenses. These lenses can be found for really cheap prices, uh, also below 100 bucks. And the reason why you want to use these lenses is because they are not designed to render up to 6K or 8K resolution video or photos. So the overall image quality is gonna be less sharp than modern digital lenses. The last tip I can give you to avoid these problems is to capture your videos or photos with the highest resolution possible. So for video with 20 or 24 megapixel sensor cameras, like all the cameras are now in the market, uh, avoid to film in full HD or in crop mode. Stick with the 4K resolution videos, because in this way the moray and the aliasing are gonna be more compressed in a higher pixel density image. And for photography, if your camera is able to record in high resolution mode or the pixel shift, use that function because you're gonna get a better and bigger RGB readout of your sensor and you're gonna have more RGB information. So you're gonna avoid the problem of uh, moray and aliasing. Some bonus tip. If you don't wanna spend any money at all and you wanna shoot with what you have, there are two extra options you can consider to avoid these problems. The first is to use the manual focus setting in your camera. In this way, you will choose the focus point of your subject and if you slightly go off focus from your subject, you're gonna introduce natural blur to the image. So it's not gonna be extremely sharp, and you're gonna avoid the problem of moray and aliasing. Plus, if you suck as focus puller and the director is gonna blast you because you're not grabbing proper focus, you can always say that you're doing because you wanna avoid moray and aliasing. I will make a tutorial about this. I will explain what does it mean in the future, maybe. The second tip I can give you to avoid this problem completely for free is to use the diffraction of your lens. Generally speaking, the diffraction starts to kick in around f13, 14, 16, 
depends from lens to lens and the overall image quality is gonna be soft and we're gonna avoid the problem of moray and aliasing so this is it for today guys i hope that this video was helpful and uh, if you already know all these informations maybe this wasn't the video for you uh, maybe it's better to go out and shoot more instead of uh, wasting your time on youtube so if you didn't like it feel free to double click the thumb down but if you like this video click the thumb up and consider to subscribe subscribe this word is killing me subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and i'll see you next time ciao almost forgot the sponsor uh, this video was sponsored by this fantastic glass of italian red wine and the portion of lasagna that i just finished to eat pretty amazing i'm happy enjoy life guys from Sicily, the best one.